What started out as a collection of buildings at various locations around St. George in 2001 now looks like this. Dixie Technical College President Kelly Stevens has been a part of this transformation and has spent countless hours over the past 30 years helping to make it a success. And soon she'll say goodbye. I started at what was then Dixie College in 1992 doing custom fit training, which is customized training for business and industry, which I absolutely loved. Never imagined in a million years that that job would lead to this job, but it's amazing how over the course of time it did. So I worked in custom fit for 18 years and then two years as vice president of instruction at what was then Dixie Applied Technology College and then I was appointed to be president of Dixie Tech on April 30th, 2012, and I will retire on April 30th, 2022. President Stevens' newly announced plans to retire came as a surprise to both her faculty and staff, as well as the board members of Dixie Tech. She announced that she's going to retire at the end of April, and I don't think there, were, there was a soul in the room that really realized the, that announcement. <laughs> so it was uh, a shock. It was definitely a shock to everyone this morning. We looked at the old Tonaquint building. We looked at the old Harmons building. We shared some memories from those spaces. We shared some memories from moving into this space and what it did for them. Talked about those things and then I just talked about, um, you know, life is kind of a process of evolution and and then I let them know that I had sent my letter announcing my intent to retire um, to the, the Board of Higher Education and that my last day would be April 30th. And, and honestly, there were some audible gasps and, and uh, lots of people shaking their heads. And I joked with them that there might have been a few that were like, yes. <laughs> but I, I, that was just kind of teasing. I, I have the best faculty and staff in the world and I appreciate them so much and they know it. They know that I appreciate them. Um, we couldn't do what we do here for a day without them. Built four years ago, Stephen said the new campus legitimizes technical education in St. George. She pushed hard to get funding through the legislature as well as private donors to make it happen. And I asked and asked and asked and finally I think they were probably tired of hearing from me, but we got a permanent campus and that has made it so that we can have all of the college operations here. Um, none have to be in subpar space as they were. President before. Stevens believes that Dixie Technical College is needed to help train and educate those who will fulfill important jobs here in Washington County in the future. They go out to work and they go debt free. They bring skills, they are able to take advantage of opportunity, um, and they're passionate about what they do. What they do is so vitally important. We honestly, honestly could not go a day in Washington County without graduates of Dixie Technical College. From the moment we get up till the moment we go to bed, we rely on people who have those skill sets. Now boasting an average of 1,300 to 1,400 students each year, Dixie Tech only had 300 when Stephen started. Like her legacy is huge. What she has done for this establishment is um, really not even comparable to anything else that I'm aware of. Steven said while she loves what she does and all that she has helped to accomplish, it's time to move on to the next chapter as her internal clock is ticking. And I think everyone has to be aware of their own clock. And you get to a point where you realize, golly, I've got all these other things that I want to do, but I've been saying yes, all in yes to Dixie Tech for 10 years. And that means when you say yes to something, you say no to something else. Stevens said her retirement plans include spending more time with her 11 grandchildren and to go back and visit her ancestral homestead in Yugoslavia. My kids are elated. They think it's the best thing in the world. My grandkids think it's just the best thing in the world. I've got two grandkids up in, in Washington State who play lacrosse. I have never seen a lacrosse match. I want to go live in Slovenia and Croatia for a year 
and I want to just feel the culture there and I want to feel where my grandparents came from. Stevens shared that when she told the Dixie board members on Wednesday, tears were shed. It was an emotional time. We had an emotional moment in the boardroom and it was sweet. It was tender. Um, but they are literally the best, the best of the best. And I appreciate them very much. Board members assured her that they will take Dixie Technical College to the next level to fulfill the vision of the future. I hope that my, my uh, replacement will feel that, feel that, um, that, that sense of purpose and direction and, and um, really focus on meeting the industry needs here in Washington County. She's asked us for a few things. Um, going forward and buttoning up some things for her and then going forward and they're really important things and I think every single person in this room feels the weight of carrying her legacy forward and I, I don't know if you get that anywhere else. That's a pretty, pretty amazing. And as for the future, Stevens hopes that Dixie Technical College will be able to keep its name. I hope nobody will mess with our name. I have told the legislators that by statute we serve Washington County and there are hundreds of companies in Washington County that have Dixie in their name and as long as they have Dixie in their name we need to have Dixie in ours. We serve this community and um, we're, my board is really pro, pro Dixie Tech and we would like to keep our name. Best wishes to Kelly Stevens and thank you from Dixie Tech. Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.